Borno, formerly called Bonu, is one of the northeastern Nigeria states. It is the central fragment of the old Bonu Empire of the Kanuri people. Its name is said to mean home of the birds. Meiduguri, which is also called Yarua, the capital and largest city of Borno State, is located along the seasonal Alo River. The waters of which disappear in the Firki swamps of Lake Chad, northeast of the city. Modern Meiduguri actually comprises the twin towns of Yarwa and Meiduguri. In 1907, Yarwa was founded on the site of the hamlet of Kukawa and was named by Shehu Bukar Garbay as the new traditional capital of the Kanuri people. It was uh, built by Shehu Abu Bakr Garbay, uh, Ibn Ibrahim Al-Lamin al the uh, grandfather of the present Shehu Abu Nu, who moved the capital of Borno from uh, Kukawa then to Mongono, from Mongono then to Maiduguri. Uh, after it has been surveyed by the colonial administration. Maiduguri's population consists mainly of Muslim Kanuri, Shua, Hausa, and many tribes, with an admixture of Christians from other parts of the country. The city is dominated by the palace an adjacent mosque of the Shehu of Borno, an important traditional Muslim leader in Nigeria. The most imposing monument in Meiduguri is the Shehu's palace. Uh, the British government sought it best to find a plain uh, land where there is going to be water in abundance because in Mongono's water is not uh, good and as well as the area is a little bit higher so they found a plain land here in Yarwa and then the Shehu was moved to Yarwa where the present palace was established and the Shehu called it Herwa that is the land of prosperity. On every Salah day Hundreds of Muslim faithfuls, including women and children, trek long distances and brave their way to the Eid ground in Ramat Square, Meiduguri. This is the time each year when the inhabitants of the city gear up for the Eid al-Kabir, the most spectacular Muslim festival of the year. The Shehu of Borno, His Eminence, Al Haji Abu Bakr Ibn Umar Garbai El Kanemi leads traditional council members in the two congregational rakat prayers peacefully under adequate security spread all over the praying ground and environs after which they return home. This can be seen as a sign of gradual return of peace in the state after more than a decade of insecurity. Since 2009, Regular activities in the city and surrounding areas have been disrupted by the presence of Boko Haram, an Islamic military group known for committing acts of violence. Boko Haram, the insurgents filmed this themselves. The target, the main. Founded by Muhammad Yusuf in 2002 in Meiduguri, Yusuf established a religious cult that included a mosque and a school where many poor families from across Nigeria and neighboring countries enrolled their children. The effects of Boko Haram activities on the people of Borno, northeastern Nigeria, has been catastrophic. Well, Boko Haram is a phenomenon that came uh, as a new uh, phenomenon to the Borno uh, as a state. Uh, because the Boko Haram insurgency has disrupted almost everything. Uh, it was a crisis, a catastrophic one for that matter. 
And ever since the start of terrorist activities around the world, there wasn't a terrorist group or association or whatever that is worse uh, than the Boko Haram insurgency. However, the offensive against the insurgents by the Nigerian armed forces is yielding some positive results, particularly in several parts of Borno states. As a result of Boko Haram insurgency in the state, a lot of activities were stopped or operate at low key. Such activities include the historic Daba at the Shehu's palace. Daba is the process, or I can say the assemblages of horses and horsemen in Borno, where during festivals, the horsemen decorate their horses themselves to come and entertain uh, August visitors. Uh, Daba is the defection of what we call uh, procession before war and the procession after war. That has been with us for quite a long time. Uh, ever since the establishment of the dynasty. It's a process of sort of displaying the ability of uh, lieutenants of the Mai or the Shew. That is during the pre-colonial times. It is a part of cavalries. But after colonization, Daba now changed to be a kind of an entertainment for August visitors. The festival by His Royal Highness Kishou Borno Alanji of the Abogar Kumasi Kukarbe Alamin Academy in honor of His Excellency the Executive Governor of Borno State for the Zababagan Awarazo. The Durba in the Shehu of Borno's domain is legendary and it has been on since time immemorial during Maya's dynasty over 4,000 years ago. The Daba continued from 1907 until 2009 when it was suspended as a result of the insurgency of Boko Haram in the states. When Boko Haram came, everything stopped. Every movement stopped. Going to mosques stopped. Going to markets stopped. Traveling stopped. Everything was stopped in Borno. So that was also how Daba was, uh, because you cannot risk the lives of your people uh, by staging Daba so that somebody will come and detonate a bomb. Uh, so that was the reason for security reason. Uh, His Eminence, the Sheikh of Borno, and the government of Borno State uh, felt that to protect the lives of our people, let us just shelve Daba and some kind of gatherings and events and ceremonies aside. Even marriage ceremony wouldn't be done as it was being done before Boko Haram. The Daba is very unique and gorgeous in nature. And there are various district heads that accompany His Royal Highness, the Shehu, who controls 16 local government areas. In these local government areas, there are about 156 district heads. In Borno, there are eight emirates which include Dikwa Emirates, Bama Emirates, Goza Emirates, Biu Emirates, Shani Emirates, Uba Emirates and Askira Emirates. The Durba gathers a lot of participants including horse riders displaying a lot of mastery in horsemanship. Some are not only seated, but they stand on horses to dance and a lot of new innovations have come in the Durba similar to what the Egyptians were during exhibition. Normally, they used to ride horses. All these heads are coming with their contingents. During Prophet Muhammad birthday's celebration annually, it's a mark of respect to Prophet Muhammad. As time goes, it became a kind of uh, celebrations during festivities, during Salah celebrations, where the king or the district heads within their domains mount at a daba to celebrate 
our Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Kabir. And each contingent will start from race course. That is a feeling now. They are coming to the Sheikh's Palace and they pay their homage one after another, leading by the Sheikh's contingents. After Sheikh's contingents, then Waziri of Borno will come. After Waziri of Borno, princes, princes are coming according to the seniority, but those who whose father were once a Sheikh of Borno are the leading, followed by the blood of the Sheho, Lamino. After that, then the other, uh, then the members of the Emirate Council, they too, according to their seniority. After that, then these heads will come one after another. Who is to come last is the Kaigama. He is the field marshal of the Borno army during the colonial war. He is the coming last. Any Daba, you see distinction between, you know, the well-to-do and the less privileged one. The much somebody, especially those who are on throne, you see that this one is richer than this. And from the look of, you know, how he dresses his horse is far greater than that one. It's an exuberance, you know, displayed to the admiration of people that is saying that, you know, we are rich by ourselves, we are rich within ourselves, and we are rich, you know, to take care of ourselves. By participating in Daba, you will know your tradition, you will know your culture, you will know the reason why the Daba has been hosted. Because Daba is a noble profession, especially to we Kanuris. Daba is held not only during ceremonies, but it can be organized for the expansion of territories and protecting the area of rulership against enemies and to welcome visitors to the palace. Borno uh, is a home of peace and hospitality which it earned for so many years. Uh, why? Because Borno is home to the Quran and it is a citadel of civilization and Borno is also uh, home of Islam. So therefore their belief in Allah uh, had strengthened them, had given them resilience. It has also given them determination that with whatever difficulty, at the end of the day, there is going to be hope, there is going to be peace, there is going to be, you know, uh, something to celebrate. <laughs> The Durba begins with prayers at dawn, followed by a colorful mounted parade of the Shehu and his retinue of horsemen, musicians and artillerymen. At the Durba festivals, noblemen travel to pay homage to the Shehu and reaffirm their loyalty to their various emirates. It's a mark of respect eh? to the incoming visitors. The purpose is to show to them that this is our culture, long-standing culture. Daba is pomp and pageantry, a royalty displayed by the ruling house. And it is the culture of Bono. Where they decorate horses with silver, some with decorate horses with uh, very uh, free shows, uh, stones, and then uh, so many uh, decorations where they have a colorful you know, homes, where they have a colorful uh, putting up uh, gowns, and then so many things. There is nowhere in the world where you can find the kind of dava that is being stable. So people are just always uh, admiring these kind of things to see and then they were happy and then to see people are celebrating and then this is a kind of uh, things that uh, makes people uh, uh, be united and at the same time pull worship. Borno is known as the most dominant empire of horsemanship. And the Durba is not just about horsemanship but also carries a lot of information. Horsemanship is a characteristic of bravery and uh, later on it becomes a, that, of a, that of a pageant, people show off. But horse generally is a means of transportation for even for the poor man, but for the rich it's a means of show off. 
But for the host to be used for Daba, then you have to be a member of the courtiers. One, there is leadership, showing of leadership there. And then there is respect, there is discipline, and then there is unity in that. <laughs> Horsemanship during the Daba provides an insight into how powerful the Emirate is and at the same time represents a window into the Emirate's rich and colorful past. In this setting, it is easy to imagine how the children and adolescents will crowd into the square on this beautiful evening, which will be the main protagonist of future Daba. For years, the Daba has been organized to celebrate the festive periods, but it was subsequently suspended due to the activities of Boko Haram that ravaged the state. Meduguri is the epicenter of Boko Haram, and the conflict has lasted for over a decade. Tactics employed by the military to quell the insurgency have sometimes proved counterproductive. <laughs> The formation of the Civilian Joint Task Force, CJTF, that has helped to combat Boko Haram in the Borno state capital, Meduguri, emerged as an effort by civilians to protect themselves from the excesses of the military by rooting out and handing over Boko Haram members at great personal cost. Creating forums for dialogue across religious and social divides would help to diffuse tensions and foster cooperation. In the fight against insurgency in Borno State and the country at large, the Nigerian military have continued to call on those who are yet to surrender their arms to do so and embrace peace. Already you can see we are getting there in droves, surrendering already. And we urge them to continue to surrender and lay down their arms and to the line of peace. So those other ones in the bush, we call on them to also come and send out their arms like their other colleagues who have seen the light and chosen the right thing to do. If they fail, we will get them, we'll get to them. We have already gotten to some and we'll get it to all. <laughs> There are a lot of cultural practices in Borno that have been affected by the activities of Boko Haram, such as the Daba. The Boko Haram issue has drastically affected the celebrations of Daba, especially in the area of uh, uh, our rich cultural displays uh, as uh, significantly affected. So if you find somebody from Borno State outside and ask him, what about the Daba in Borno State? He has never seen the Daba because of the Boko Haram insurgency. So the insurgency, when it started, it started even targeting the district heads. So it has affected not only the Daba itself, even affected the horses. Now the breeds of horses that we normally used to see are no more. The, the people that are very much are committed, were, most of them were killed. From all ramifications, Boko Haram has in no way inflicted to the you know, cultural you know, image of Borno. So it has made uh, a lot of insecurity threats to the uh, organization of this Daba annually. Uh, during Salah festivities, during end of year festivities, you'll see that you know, Daba is being staged. During the insurgency, the Boko Haram, there's nothing like that. All the time, they were born so all this Daba of 18, since 2009, there was nothing like that. Do you like Daba and cultural tradition? Of course, because I'm a traditionalist. So when it was suspended, how do you feel? Uh, we, we, uh, we are very much sorry for our children. For they will not know their culture, they will not know their uh, tradition. Furthermore, how our people from different districts are coming together to know one another 
two is also suspended. I really feel very sad because Daba is our tradition here in Borno State. It is now two years after the obliterated day burning mm -hmm. of Daba and Madhuri. Mm -hmm. How do you feel one day of this day? We are very happy. We, we, uh, we have now observed that our tradition and cultures are now starting to come back. With the gradual return of peace to its home, His Royal Highness, the Sheikh of Borno, Al Haji Dr. Abubakar Ibn Umar Garbay Al Amin El Kanemi, rides a horse accompanied by colorful attendants and traditional bodyguards with a variety of musical performers whose drums, trumpets, bagpipes and flutes fill the air with an array of sounds. And the crowning moment of the Durba is where groups representing the various district heads of the Borno Kingdom entertain the guests. Our culture, our tradition are all intertwined with the culture of Arabs, because most of us migrated, most of us were, you know, uh, we originated from Yemen. So therefore you cannot divorce us from horse, and you cannot divorce our people from, you know, activities relating to horsemanship. The festival has also developed into a prominent cultural industry, which has enhanced the breeding of horses, manufacturing of saddles, and sewing ceremonial garments in addition to musical instruments which generate employment and develop skills in horse riding, music and oratory aptitudes in a unique market which contributes directly to the economy. It also increased the economic status of people because during Daba, when there is always Daba, you can see the tailors, the material sellers, all these the traders, and they are all getting exchange of your materials. You buy, so the tailor will deal, and the tailors will now sell some of these materials. Well, a lot of things economically goes on. It, it, it not only affect the Daba, it affects uh, business transaction. So when it is now partially restored, we are happy and we are praying to Almighty Allah to give more peace to the state. I didn't expect to see a day when Daba will be restored in this our state because I totally give up when the Daba was stopped due to the insurgency. But now Daba has been restored. We are interacting like before. We are remembering our culture and tradition. We used to interact with different people from different localities. Apart from being a way of demonstrating military power and skills before going to war, the Durba is now a ceremonial festival and educates people on the historic tradition of Kanuri people. As far as education is concerned, it is a cultural package where the young should also grow to learn from the uh, old people. Once in Nigeria, when you say Borno, the, the Hausa people will say Garindoki. So educationally, it is a cultural show where the young people are initiated into the cultural uh, activities of the emirate. Yeah. Derba is not only about horsemanship and brilliant exhibition of the people's cultural heritage and traditions, but it also preserves the cultural institution. Our young ones, if they don't see this Derba and these traditional dances, they will not know their tradition. They, they will not know their culture it will definitely contribute towards the progress of the culture, tradition, respect of one another. The Durba features a parade of vibrantly clad horsemen in colorful traditional robes and turbans who move in regiments to the Emir's palace led by local leaders, local musicians and traditional performers. This brings out the entertainment aspect of the Durba. Once you say there is Durba, people gather there. People gather there to cheer their own heroes. They used to come with other traditional dances in their respective villages. I can remember during uh, the ring of late Sheikh Master, whenever the royal band is being sung, about four to five horses inside there, once if they hear the drum and the alligator, with their legs tied to the you know, rope like that, they start, you know, like this or that. And it's just a wonderful, because you've never seen, you know, and we've seen it. 
There's one particular decision here that whenever he comes to Daba, he shakes his spire to the extent that it will break. It was so much, you know, some have said that, no, it is extraordinary. Some have said, no, it is dexterity. Some know uh, yeah, he's using supernatural power, you know, that, that kind of thing. Those are things that people talk about. Any Daba that comes and passes, people may talk for days and years or even months about the Daba and who has performed well during the Daba. So that is the entertaining aspect. The Daba at the Shiloh's Palace is one of the most famous processions where horse riders are massively decorated with silver and bronze which projects the culture and tradition of Borno, and that is what makes the Daba very unique. In Borno, we don't feed our horses with uh, hawks. Dusa in, in Hausa, we always give them fresh uh, grains to eat. Uh, because of that, our horses are more stronger than what you may expect uh, elsewhere. The things that they put on the horses during, you know, salad festivities has been put over the years. Even the silver, May decoration is other states copied from Borno. The actual horses performing the Daba do not golf. They always process, they proceed in a kind of a, you know, dexterity movement, but not golfing, not racing. If you watched the 1977 Daba or even the recent one which we did centenary for the Northern uh, Nigerians, in the, uh, yeah, you will see that in terms of organization, in terms of movement, in terms of, you know, uh, regalia, in terms of decoration and everything, nobody can match Borno in Daba. So because of that, uh, Borno's Daba is always systematically designed. It is more unique than that of any other part of the country because we are imitating the culture that we have inherited long ago. The National Orientation Agency, a National Museum and Monument Meduguri are also some of the agencies that assist in preserving the Daba in Borno. The National Commission for Museum and Monument preserves some of the Daba materials. So we have many things in the gallery there that is preserved and exhibited for our young generation to come and see. Ours is always to tell the people how rich it is and how expensive the horses are decorated. We always try to uh, put people together uh, through this Daba and other festivities, because people are coming together from different backgrounds and then making people to know each other. So when there is Daba, there is always uh, people coming from other places, especially tourists that are coming to us and they is trying to portray the, the whole world, how rich we are. The Shohu's Palace Daba is unique and extraordinary with a lot of peculiarities you cannot find anywhere in the world.